2020 is not going to stop us from looking our best. We are going to slay this holiday. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for this fun-filled hair tutorial. Knotless box braids and cornrows. Brought to you by Habiba Tanao and also thanks to Janet Hair Collection. I was sent three packs of the three times easy Tex pre-stretched lightweight, extremely lightweight hair. It's coming in 56 inches and it is supposed to be antibacterial and itch free. It is also supposed to be water resistant, extremely lightweight, and you can style it using the hot water setting. You have very natural looking ends because again, it is pre-stretched. This is ombre colored hair with blonde ends in the color OET1B slash 27. It will go really well with Mariam's hair. So we're starting off with clean hair. I like to wash it outside of the bathroom first um, and then she'll go in the shower and wash it properly herself also. So we have her hair, it's damp and we're just gonna go ahead and detangle it. So we start at the ends first and just make sure you comb really well. Um, she has naturally curly, bushy hair and it does tangle. So here I'm trying to make sure that the roots are dry because you don't wanna braid hair with wet hair or you don't wanna braid with wet hair. So I wanna make sure her roots are dry at least because the rest of her hair will dry very quickly. So we're also going to moisturize, 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 <laughs> especially her ends. So that's what I'm doing here, just making sure it is detangled and well moisturized before we start braiding. So to part her hair from ear to ear, I am going to use a bamboo skewer. I know. <laughs> This works really well instead of a comb because it actually reminds me of a uh, traditional African comb, the way it parts. So I have parted it from ear to ear. I'm separating her hair into two sections. The back is the larger section and we will come back to that. So there you go. Nice and clean part. So for my box braids, I always start at the back and these are going to be medium sized braids. So not small and not super large. And then I realize I need to pull out the hair, okay? Separate your hair. If you do that first, it makes things a lot more easy or it makes it just a lot more organized if you separate the hair into small sections first. Look how pretty this hair is. All right, yes, it's really gonna blend in with Mariam's hair. And uh, I love the variation in color. So I'm just pulling you know, pulling small sections of the hair and pulling it aside or putting it aside. And uh, my little crown seems to work well. Okay, now we're gonna just part again the back of her hair. Make sure the parting is very nice and crisp. If you add a little bit of gel or cream and then brush, it, it tends to get rid of the flyaways so that your parting is nice and clean. Okay, so I'm just going to start braiding the back of her hair and I will show you in more detail as I move along on the top of her hair. But you know, in the beginning, the braids aren't the best. <laughs> it takes a little bit of practice and I'm not a professional braider. I'm just a mom who likes braiding hair and I grew up in Africa or at least in my youth, I grew up around girls who all knew how to braid. So it's not perfect, but it's nice enough. And the more you do it, the better you get. Okay, so I'm on the second row. And again, trying to get a very clean part. To be honest, I think anyone can braid if you have enough patience <laughs> and a little bit of time. So for Miriam, she was um, in college or she is in college. And at the time she was still taking her exam. So I did not finish her hair in one day. We would wait till the evenings to braid. And so, yeah, we just kind of spread it out over a couple of days. But you can certainly do this style in one day, in one sitting. 
All right, here's a close up. So this is definitely going to be a knotless braid or also what you would call a feed in braid. So I start off with very little braiding hair added to her hair. Sometimes I actually started off her the braid without adding hair first. But here I started with a little bit of braiding hair and then gradually I add more braiding hair. This way you are avoiding any bulk at the root of the braid. So you just need to take your time and a few times you might need to add a little bit of gel or uh, hair grease or cream to your hair um, or to your fingers. That way her hair blends in seamlessly and you avoid any flyaways. So you can see her hair texture coming through and I'm adding a little bit of gel as I braid and that helps everything to lay really well. Um, no flyaways. Keeps the braid nice and smooth. And I braid all the way down almost, but I do leave a little bit of the ends free, which we will um, braid and dip in hot water later. See how long it is? This hair is super long and what I like about it is that again it really blends in with her hair. It's perfect. If you go on JanetCollection.com you can definitely find a color that you prefer or a texture that you prefer. They have so many different options. So here you can see I am about to tackle the front of her hair which we braided overnight. So I knew I wanted a side part, but I knew I didn't want it to go straight back. We wanted to do something, you know, different, something with a little flavor. So instead, I started with a side, plot, side part that I curved all the way to the back, as you can see, because I didn't want, again, straight back braids. We wanted to curve it a little bit. Here you can see I have sleeked back her edges with some gel, and now I'm making the first part in front. So unlike the rest of the braids in front which will move towards the back, this first braid on either side of her ear will be facing forward. So it kind of gives it that Fulani, you know, style. So as you can see, we're braiding it towards the front and she doesn't prefer too much hair in the front of her face. So this is the only, you know, braid. The braids on the side will go to the front. I'm having her press down on the braid so that I don't pull too hard, you know, so it's not too painful because you know the front can be very sensitive. All right, we are curving the braids to the back. And again, you just have to be a little bit creative, you know, figure out what kind of style you want. Um, I didn't have an exact idea when I first started, but as I went along, I kind of figured, oh, this would look nice, so let's do it this way. So again, we're doing the feed-in braids using a tiny bit of hair at a time. So here's a little bit of a close-up. I braided her hair first and then I started to add a small portion at a time of the braiding hair because we're trying to save those edges <laughs> and it looks nice when the braid gets larger gradually so she's pressing down so again I don't pull too hard and we're braiding all the way down so this is some long hair so this is for the bold girls anyway look we're done almost done with the top on one side look at how it looks when you lift up the braids not bad right Okay, so we're going on to the other side and again, I'm just trying to make sure it looks interesting. At first, I was thinking of bringing a braid forward. You see how I parted that off? And then I thought, no. And she decided she also would prefer them all to go to the back. So we just continued to curve them towards the back. Again, make sure your hair is well combed out, moisturized, and detangled well before you start braiding. It makes it so much easier. So 
how are you doing your hair this holiday season? Are we doing weaves? Are we doing braids? Are we doing wigs? Or are you just wearing your natural hair? That's fine too. Anyway, we're doing the last braid, the last braid. <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you how we style it and how we add accessories and have just a little bit more fun. Yeah, so much you can do with braids. Definitely check out the Janet collection and I really appreciate them sending me this hair. Actually, I used, I didn't tell you, I used two packs of the three times easy text. And I guess they call it three times because you're getting three bundles in the packs. It makes it easy to stay organized. Okay, so I'm just oiling her scalp here with some hair oil. She does have some eczema and gets a lot of flaking. So the hair oil helps to soothe her scalp, especially with the braids. All right, so let's go ahead and dust those ends. You know, sometimes you get those extra long scraggly ends. So we're just gonna even it out a little bit without doing a blunt cut. So I don't want it blunt at all. So this is certainly optional, but I wanted the ends nice and wavy. So I'm braiding them into two large braids and then going to dip it in hot water. This will help set the hair and give it some nice waves and also help seal the ends. But again, you don't have to do this, this is optional. But I think it comes out really pretty. Of course, you have to be really careful when dealing with hot water, so make sure you have a towel right there. <laughs> but anyway, I can't wait to unravel the braids so you can see those pretty waves. Okay, let's show you the waves. Aren't they pretty? All right, now for some bling. Let's go ahead and add some bling, a few beads, a few cowrie shells. You got options, girl. <laughs> Dress up those braids. And now I'm gonna focus on her edges. I'm not the best at this, but with her hair, I don't need edge control, just a little bit of gel. If it were my edges, I need some heavy edge control. I hope you liked how it turned out. What was your favorite look? Did you like it all down? Did you like it half up or half down or the large braid? I hope you try this on yourself or on your friend or your daughter. <laughs> 
and uh, let me know if you do but definitely check out the website janetcollection.com you will find something you like thanks again for watching i really appreciate it and we will see you soon bye